Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Mark Witten. He is the Chief Product Officer for the uh, new Xbox. Mark, welcome. Thank you, Larry. This is fantastic. New Xbox, great stuff. Let's dig right in and let's talk about how it's different from, say, the Xbox 360. Well, sure. Well, I think it starts with the box itself. Now it has more power, mm -hmm. uh, the power to create games that you just couldn't dream of before. But it's what we've been able to do with that. And I think this is something that only Microsoft could do. And that starts with the three different operating systems that we have running at the same time. The first is the best version of the Xbox operating system that really allows game creators to take full advantage of the hardware to build unparalleled experiences. But we paired that with a version of Windows so that you can run other experiences at the same time, Skype, things that we can't even imagine yet that are going to really change that experience. And then the third combines those together so that you can seamlessly uh, multitask, that you can switch, that you can snap apps at the same time that you're playing a game. It all comes together as an experience that you just can't have today. Now, when we look at the, the new console, obviously, as you said, it's, it's very powerful and you've architected. Let's talk about the cloud, another real important part of the That's puzzle. Right. Yeah, you know, for us, obviously with Xbox Live, we've invested in the cloud for a long time. It's really what's created this magic experience, the social experience. And we now have an all new version of Live that's powered from the cloud. And that does a couple of things. It means that your, your content is always there, it's always up to date for you. It means that the experiences are powered by the cloud. So achievements now are richer and they're dynamic and they're, they're no longer sort of fixed. And I think that's gonna really change the experience. But really what it also means is that we can take advantage of that cloud power to create experiences and really pair with the power of the box. So game creators can use raw cloud computation to create bigger multiplayer matches or bigger worlds, more physics, all of those things. I think you're going to see unparalleled creativity when you match that power of the, of the new Xbox Live with the power of the new Xbox. We talked about the power of the Live, the power of the new console, but there's also another really powerful part of this equation, which is the new sensor. Yeah, I'm super excited about the, our, our, new, our new Kinect sensor. And there's a couple of things about it. First off, it has a proprietary new tech stack. And what that's allowed us to do is we actually can measure the amount of time a, a beam of light takes to, to bounce off your back. And, and that's Wait really, a minute. really, so, really so, so light photons. Uh, that's uh, bouncing light photons. out and back. Yeah, 186,000 miles per second. Wow. And we're timing that, 13 okay. billionths of a second, basically, to get to you in the Not TV. just one, but a lot. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and what that allows us to do is more precision. Mm -hmm. uh, we, can, we can track finer motions. And that's really created this, this really unprecedented level of capability. So with the the first version of Kinect, we were the first people to be able to track your body and sort of have joints and understand that. Now we have more joints. There, we can understand rotation. Uh, we can understand the transfer of weight in your body. We can even understand your heartbeat or your facial expressions. So really create an experience that you can't have today. The other thing with, that comes with the sensor, of course, is voice command. That's right. And the entire new console, you can control with your voice. That's right. And that's one of the things that, that we've been able to do now that Connect is a part of every version of the system. Because Connect is always running and it's always there for you and for all of the game experiences. And so uh, where on the Xbox 360, some experiences I could say Xbox pause, other ones I couldn't. Now voice always works. Now it's conversational. Mm -hmm. Now I can, I don't have to know exactly what I, I, I have to say. I don't have to do this, you see it, you say it model. In fact, I can launch any experience no matter where I am in the system. I don't even have to know where the UI, it would be in the UI. I just say it and I get in and I'm playing or I'm having a great entertainment experience. Now, one thing that a lot of gamers are very interested in is the new controller. That's right. Tell us a little bit about that. because uh, you, you know very yeah. well. I have a lot of passion about our <laughs> yes. controller. And I think we've really been able to build the game controller that you're going to use uh, you know, for the future. I yeah. mean, this this thing, you know, we, we built on a lot of the heritage in the Xbox 360 gamepad, uh, but we've designed a lot of new uh, innovation into it. It's a better feel. The battery pack is now integrated, so you don't even feel that in the back. The D-pad is amazing. And we've innovated in some areas that I think people are going to really like. We have these, these impulse triggers that actually allow you to have force feedback in the trigger so that you can feel the rev of an engine or a brake or these really cool effects that game developers can program in. It's a cool device. Now, the other thing that uh, a, lot of, a lot of folks are excited about as well is we're also going to be using Skype for communication. That's right. So that's going to sound great, right? Yeah, well, you know, we've always been in on communication, and now that that's not just uh, what we've been able to do in Xbox, but the entire power of the Skype network and the Skype experience, mm -hmm. so that I can talk to my friends, uh, I can video with my friends while I'm doing any experience on the box, whether they're on the console or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really, really powerful experience. Something we've seen with the with the Xbox 360 is smart class. It's been mm -hmm. out for about a year yeah, now. That's right. Tell us about the advances that the new console will see. You know, well, this is another example where we've been able to build it directly in from the beginning. And smart glass has been very successful. We've had over 10 million downloads and you know people are using it constantly. 
Now that it's built in, we can have more smart glass devices, up to 16 of them at the same time, to really create these new social experiences. And we can use the power of the, uh, the new Xbox to directly render onto your favorite device. So we can create an experience that's richer and deeper and uh, with less latency. I think people are gonna really, really like what we're able to do with it. So we've got a brand new console, brand new controller, brand new sensor, brand new live, and a brand new smart glass experience. Am I leaving anything out? Yeah, you know what, of course, what goes with that is the great experiences. And I think you guys saw a few of those uh, today and at E3, we're gonna see even more. Uh, right. It's gonna be a fun time. Great, well, thank you very much, Mark. All right, great to see you, Larry.